VC. Welcome to the Inner Sleeve. I'm your host, DR. Today, I have another Vinyl Arrivals slash Albums Ranking video for you. And the band I'm talking about is Iced Earth. We're going to rank and look at my recent pickups from Iced Earth, which is the first five albums, and those are the ones I will be ranking. I know that some of you have an issue with John Schaefer. I understand um, with the January 6th thing. So we're going to start by Going with my number five pick, I'm going to show you the vinyl condition, talk a little bit about the album, and I'm going to try to get through this pretty fast. So my number five pick is Iced Earth's self-titled debut. I picked this up recently. Uh, this is the 30th anniversary pressing. Taking a look at the vinyl. Sorry about any background noise. My son has some friends over. Really like the art artwork on this album. Very cool. Hype sticker says this is the legendary self-titled debut of Metal Giants. Iced Earth celebrates its 30th anniversary, originally released in 1990. Now returns remixed and remastered by Zeus of Overkill and Queensryche fame from the original 2-inch tapes on 180 gram vinyl. So the insert or the is some alternate artwork and the lyrics. And on each of these albums I'm just going to read through uh, some of my favorite songs. So the way I went about this ranking is I categorized songs in my kind of my favorites. Decent songs and then songs I didn't really care for. Um, so in my ranking scale, this one got uh, 12 points. That's out of a possible 30, I believe. Um, but I love this album, so don't get it wrong. I ranked them really hard. I think the best one got 21 or 22. So um, like all five of these albums, so they're really hard to rank. But on their debut, my favorite songs are Iced Earth, Written on the Walls, and Curse the Sky which has a really good solo. Songs I didn't care for that much were really the instrumentals on here, Solitude and Funeral. Uh, I'm not a big instrumental guy. But this album was released uh, internationally in November 1990 and in North America in February 1991. And the vocals, so one thing I'm going to point out, obviously Iced Earth, the band members change a lot. Vocals on this album were Gene Adam, and uh, on bass we had Dave Abel, Mike McGill on drums, and then we had John Schaefer on rhythm guitars. So and on lead guitar is Randy Shaver on this album. So moving on to my number four pick. My number four pick is Something Wicked This Way Comes. So this is a really cool album cover as well. Really love the, the artwork on Iced Earth albums. I'm gonna take a look at the vinyl and the jacket before we get into the album. So this is on colored vinyl. This is the recent pressing on Floga Records. So there you see the artwork on side one and side two. Kind of a cool splatterburst color here. Although, not sure this one really matches the jacket that much, but it's okay. And then the Floga Records pressings, these, this is a grease uh, label. They are really well done. Um, the quality was excellent. And these jackets are nice and glossy if you like that. Uh, no inserts. Uh, the albums all, the records all did come in polyline sleeves though. Uh, they do have the lyrics inside. So I like that. So something wicked this way comes. This is my number four pick. This was actually the fifth uh, one released by Iced Earth. Uh, it was released on June 2nd, 1998. This is also the longest one that I'm looking at today. 61 minutes, 56 seconds. Vocals were Matt Barlow, who also proceeded on the previous two albums before this as the vocalist. Bassist, we had James McDonough, which is his first appearance. Um, drums, we had Mark Prater. Um, my favorite songs on here were Melancholy, um, Consequences, My Own Savior, Stand Alone, and Prophecy. A song I didn't really care for that much is because it's an instrumental again of 1776. So this is my number four pick. Moving on to my number three pick is Dark Saga, or Dark Saga, 
However you're supposed to say that word. So taking a look, again, these albums are all really done well by Folger Records. Strongly encourage you to pick them up if you're an Ice Earth fan and you have any reservations about it. These all sound great, good quality packaging. Um, wish they had a little bit more extras, but all really good. Here's the Splatterburst color for this one. I believe this one is a much better match for the cover, and the labels look cool. And I have to admit that Dark Sega and um, Burnt Offerings actually came up a tie in my point system. Um, I forgot to mention what I gave the Something Wicked This Way Comes. I gave that one, he set, had 17 points. Uh, and then Dark Sega and Burnt Offerings actually came in both at 20 points. But I did pick um, Dark Sega in the number three spot. Um, so it was released on May 20th, 1996. This one's 43 minutes and 54 seconds long. The vocals again are by Matt Barlow, who I do like as a vocalist for them. Mark Prater on drums. Also again, we had Randall Shaver as lead guitar and John Schaefer as uh, rhythm guitar. So my favorite songs on Dark Sega are Dark Sega, uh, Violate, The Hunter, the Last Laugh, and Slave to the Dark. So I like a lot of the songs on this album. It was really hard for me to pick my favorites because I, I like them all. Um, some obviously a little bit more than others. And the cover art here, I should point out, depicts the comic book character Spawn. And this is actually a concept album about that con um, comic book character. Moving on to my number two pick, we have Burnt Offerings. So I will look at the vinyl here. Just showing one vinyl indicative of what they look like. But again, this is the kind of that splatter of splatter burst. This one also matches the cover really well, being that red splatter burst. Looks like the labels are both the same on this one. Actually, I think they're the same on all four sides. So this is also a 2LP. Just like something wicked this way comes, oh, this one's not quite as long. But we'll get to that in a minute. Taking a look at the jacket. Help if I take it out of the sleeve. Also a gatefold. Back of the cover. Again, no insert. But, yeah, I, I think I mentioned it, but uh, Dave Abel's on bass guitar, Rodney Beasley on drums, Matt Bartlow on lead, Randall Shaver. On, on lead guitar, Matthew Bartlow is lead vocals. Rhythm guitar is obviously John Schaefer in some vocals as well, backing vocals. So as I mentioned in my point system, Burned Offerings came out with 20 points. It was released in April 18th, 1995. It's 52 minutes, 39 seconds long. As I mentioned already, Matt Bartlow on, Matthew Bartlow on vocals. And my favorite songs on this album are Burnt Offerings, Last December, Brainwashed, and Creator Failure. I didn't have any that I didn't like. Uh, I found them all to be really good songs, but those were my favorites. And it also, Dante's Inferno, that was a hard one for me to categorize on here. I just counted it as one song, but on some versions, I think the CD version, it actually shows it as three three parts. And that, their longest song ever is 16 minutes, 26 seconds. Burnt Offerings, as you guys know, a lot of you really like it. It's their heaviest album, and it's really good. But for me, the album I still like the best is Night of the Storm Rider. And this was the first Ice Earth album I ever heard. All four of the others are relatively recent for me. This one I heard several years ago. So this was the one when I think of Ice Earth that I think of. This is a single LP. Very appropriate color on this one, being that blue splatterburst color. I forget what they call these splatterburst colors. I haven't been saying it. You guys will have to look it up. Floor, this one's also a Floga Records pressing. Really good sounding. It's great that these sound so good. 
Um, and I'm not working for Fulger Records. I was just super happy that they repressed them because a lot of their other albums are really hard to get unless you're willing to pay hundreds of dollars uh, on Discogs or something. At least what I've been able to find. Anything after Something Wicked This Way comes up to Incorruptible, which is now still available because it's their most recent. But everything in between looks really hard to get. I hope Fulga is able to also press some of those because there's several of those I'd like to get someday. Here we go. Album artwork, great artwork. So inside, you got some alternate artwork there along with the lyrics. And on the back, obviously, we have the track listing. So, Night of the Storm Rider was released in 1991. It's 46 minutes and 6 seconds long. Um, I did give it 21.1 points. Basically, I gave every favorite song three points, every decent song or good song one point, and things I didn't like zero points, and then I um, added those up, divided it by the number of songs on the album, and multiplied it by ten. So that's what you get when you have an engineer um, coming up with a point system for album rankings. Uh, we, here we had vocals were John Greeley, so again, like the first album, just a one-time vocalist. Lead guitar, we had Randall Shaver. Uh, drums, we had Rick Sekari, Sekari, I'm not sure how to say that. Um, and we had Dave Abel on bass, and obviously again, John Schaefer. So my favorite songs on this album, Storm Rider, The Path I Choose, Desert Rain, maybe my favorite Ice Earth song ever, uh, Pure Evil, and Travel to uh, Stygian. All awesome songs, really love this album although I love all five of these albums. So I was really happy to pick up these uh, five different albums um, by Iced Earth. Uh, the first one, the 30th anniversary version of their self-titled, that was actually on Century Media. Uh, the others were all on Fulger Records. Really glad they've repressed those. They just came out earlier this year. Uh, I was able to find them through Discogs, a seller on there. You can also go direct through the label. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Vinyl Arrivals slash album ranking. If you did, please like and subscribe. Keep those turntables spinning. See ya.